Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the 8051 microcontroller. In previous lectures, we have discussed about the 8085 microprocessor and 8086 microprocessors. And after these two microprocessors, we have discussed about the interfacing requirements and interfacing standards and interfacing controllers. So apart from this, we are going to study about the controllers, basic controllers like 8051. So what is the difference between the microcontroller and microprocessor we have, we have discussed earlier. As we know in microprocessor we have only the processing unit whereas in microcontroller we have the inbuilt memory like RAM ROM in the architecture or in the chip itself. So let us discuss about what is 8051. So my 8051 microcontroller is designed by Intel in 1981. It is a 8-bit microcontroller. It is built with 40 pins as we have discussed in 8085. Here also the 8051 is a 40 pin. Dip, that is DIP stands for Dual Inline Package that is IC package. And here the storage is 4 KB of ROM and 128 bytes of RAM storage. And we have two 16-bit time timers and it consists of uh, four parallel 8-bit ports which are programmable as well as addressable as per our requirement and on-chip crystal oscillator is integrated in the microcontroller having the crystal frequency of 12, 12 MHz as we discussed in a processor itself an external frequency is necessary to keep the uh, system and to keep the processing, processing state stable. So here we are using the external uh, crystal frequency which has a frequency of 12 MHz and it consists of uh, 80 pins and which is supported by all the interfacing standards. The system bus has the 8 bit bus. Here you can see it, we have bus of 8 bits and 16 address, bit, address bus and bus control signals as we these are the mandatory things which we have discussed in the processor itself. All other devices like program memory, ports, data memory, serial interface, interrupt control, timers and CPU or are, are all the interfacing together through the system. Next, we are going to discuss about the A051 architecture. So here you can see the very first thing uh, we have interrupt control. As we know uh, in 8085 and 86 we have a lot of interrupts like uh, vector interrupt, non-vector, maskable, non-maskable, hardware interrupt and software interrupts. Here we have the interrupt control which uh, we have external interrupts, timer interrupts and serial interrupts. We have the classifications like that. Here we have the two pins uh, which is for interrupt 0 and interrupt 1 and these are uh, externally given interrupt pins. And uh, that uh, the main thing is CPU that is central processing unit and this is going to act as for all the arithmetic and logical operations and as we discussed we have the oscillator which gives the uh, maximum of 12 megahertz and we have the oscillator capacity of 3 to sorry 4 to 30 megahertz and uh, we have two timer 16 bit timers timer 0 timer 1 and the, these are the uh, counter inputs T1 or T1 are the counter they are used for the counter purpose and here we have the serial port as we know that every data is communicated through the serial communication so every transmission and every uh, receiving data should be in serial format so we have the serial ports which uh, is used for the transmitter and receiver and we have the four input output ports and through this uh, input output ports the address or data buses are enabled so we have four input output ports and we have the bus control as usual in the processor we have the bus control to enable these input output ports and apart from that two major things you can find here is on chip ROM that is for program code only on chip ROM stands for read only memory so it is only for the programming code and on chip RAM where this can be used for storing the inputs and outputs so during the process and for the further uh, processing also. So the unique feature which we can see here is these two that is on RAM and the ROM which is inbuilt in the microcontroller itself. So we can differentiate it like RAM is used for inputs and outputs while processing and for the future processing also where ROM is only for the programming code to be stored. 
So apart from this, uh, we can find that architecture of 8051 is very simpler compared with the 8085 and 8086. So in the next lecture, we will discuss about the pin configuration of 8051.